Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today we will be creating a puff sleeves frock. So, let's start. Start by creating the shirt pattern using polygon tool. Add the curves to the armpit area using curve tool. Select the center line and unfold as symmetrical pattern with sewing. Copy the whole pattern and paste it to create the back side of tumbler. Sew the shoulder and tank sides. Arrange the patterns on the avatar using arrangement points and turn on simulation. Rearrange the points on the back side of the neck as it would be higher than the points on the front and simulate. Now for the bottom of the dress, create a rectangle using rectangle tool. Shortcut for which is S. To add extra fabric at the center, use fullness tool. Sew this pattern to the front of the tumbler and create symmetric pattern to make the back side of the bottom. Sew both sides with each other. Arrange these patterns on the avatar and sew the back side of bottom to the tumbler and hit simulate button. Now for the sleeves, create a small rectangle and add curves on the upper part of it. Unfold and sew it to the tumbler. Let's freeze all the patterns except sleeves before simulation. To make puffy sleeves, the fabric in the center should be more than that on the ends of the sleeves. So, add more fabric using fullness tool. Edit the sewing lines again. Edit the pattern to make it longer and wider sleeves. Sew the sides. And create a small rectangle for the cuff of sleeves. Now for puffy sleeves, this cuff must be really small and precisely arranged on the arm. So, I am decreasing the particle distance and adding bond to this too. Adjust the details of the bond as per your requirements in locking. Sew this small rectangle to the sleeves pattern and simulate. It's looking more puffy because the whole sleeves and cuff pattern is strengthened. Unstrengthening it will make it more fused. Which we don't want. So, adjust the sleeves accordingly.
create symmetric pattern to make other sleeve. See the sides and simulate. Unfreeze all the patterns. Now, I want to make it a long frock so, I am changing the dimensions of the bottom of the frock. And simulate to sew it properly. And with this the dress is complete. At the end add the texture and color to the fabric to complete the project. Thank you for watching. See you soon with another video.